In this video we're going to edit a landscape photo and we're going to concentrate primarily on the split toning feature. And here's our starting image. So with all images, first of all, go into the light and make some minor adjustments. So let's bring the exposure up, add a little contrast, just a touch, highlights down a little bit and bring the shadows right up. I'm going to crop this image down a little bit just to get rid of the vignetting. And we can touch and drag to position it just where we want it. Press the tick when you're finished. And let's go into the color. I'm going to add some vibrance into the color and a little bit of saturation. In the effects area, that's where we're going to find the split toning. Before we do that, let's add a little clarity and a little texture and I also want to add some dehaze to the image and you can see we pull that right up how much detail that brings out in the colors but we don't want to go too far just yet so we're going to bring the dehaze up to about 30 and then we're going to press the split toning so with the split toning you're adding colors to the highlights as well as saturation and you're adding those colors also separately to the shadows so to explain what I mean, let's have a look and we're going to add some oranges into the highlights. And the higher you go up, the more saturation you're adding. And obviously you can change the color orientation by going left and right. So let's start with about a saturation of 26 here in the oranges. And then for the shadows, let's add blue into the shadows. Put a lot of saturation say 44 so if we touch and hold the image you can see the before and the after this particular image I'm gonna just go with the oranges so I want to add oranges into both the shadows and the highlights and perhaps a little bit more orange into the highlight area here so very quickly with that split toning you can see you can make a dramatic difference to your images you can also adjust the balance down the bottom here and that's where the lights and the darks kick in. So just play around with it. Go left and right until you've, you're happy. For this particular image, double tap, you can go back to the center. And when you're happy, press done. Let's have a look at a couple more images. So we've got this one here. Let's again reset this image back to its original. And same principle, let's go into light and let's just adjust some parameters. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast. Certainly bring the highlights down. Shadows don't need to go up too much. I'm gonna play around with the white just to get to a point that I'm happy with. And the same for the blacks. You can go into curves and you can add a curve adjustment here in the RGB channel. Just click three points on your image and you can add a little less curve. Try and keep the center one roughly in the center and adjust the bottom down a little bit and the top point a little higher and that creates some contrast. When you're happy, press done. And then let's go into color and I'm gonna pull the saturation up quite a bit to plus 52 and the vibrance up to plus 18. And in the color mix, I'm gonna try and bring out a little bit more of the reds and the oranges. And I'm gonna make the oranges a little brighter too and then press done. Okay, but now let's go into our split toning. And here's the image without any split toning applied. Again, we can add whatever colors we like. So let's go a bit crazy. And we're gonna add some pinks into the highlights and the shadows just to show you the sort of effect that you can achieve if you wish to. So we've got the before, you can see blues and greens. And then after when we've added the split toning or you might want to go for blues. Let's just add some blues in there, which is similar to the original image, but we've added a bit more depth and detail into those blues. And again, let's go and change it into the reds to see the difference here. And let's try another image. So this one was taken in Wales. Let's adjust that all so that we've got the original image. And again, let's start with our light and let's make a few adjustments. I'm gonna bring the exposure up a little bit. Let's bring the highlights down so we get some details in the sky. And we're gonna pull the shadows up quite a lot. Let's have a look where the lights end up. Plus for the lights, down a little bit for the blacks. And then we're gonna go into color and we're gonna boost 
the vibrance and the saturation. And then in effects, let's add some texture and we're gonna add a fair bit of clarity and dehaze to our image. So already in the image, if I hold the before and then you see the after, you can see we've made some nice adjustments already to the image. But let's go into our split toning. And for this image, we're gonna add some blues into the shadows. We're also going to add some blues into the highlights and there you go there's the before and there's the after and let's try one more we'll reset this image again add a little bit of contrast i want to get some details back into the highlights in the sky and bring out some of the shadows in the boats in the foreground into color again i like to add some vibrance to the image and a little bit of saturation and in our effects add some clarity and some dehaze and let's go and have a look split toning so this time we're going to go for a lot of blues in our image and I'm going to do both the highlights and the shadows and there again you can see the before and after and if you just pull the shadows down and up you can see the difference it's making to those shadows and again, the same in the highlights. We pull it down to the very bottom, we've added no saturation, so no difference to the highlights. We pull it right up to the very top, we've added maximum saturation to the highlights. And we're gonna go somewhere in the center. And again, you can see the before and the after. Well, that's it. I hope that was interesting to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. It really helps me to grow the channel. Every week I post new videos for Lightroom, both the mobile and the desktop, tutorials as well as presets. Thanks again guys, I will see you next time.